Hello everyone, what is happening? Welcome back to a brand new video. As you can see up here, I have my friend George. And today I will be talking about giving you an overall review of Peppa Pig, my first cinema experience. <laughs> We got the kids pass, so overall it cost um a four point, which was absolutely amazing. Where do I begin? There was a but let's talk about the things I didn't really enjoy because there wasn't that much. I would have preferred it. If there was no live action, but the live action wasn't bad. It was. It wasn't like people dressed up as Peppa Pig or something like that. It was like a mini figure. Like, like how would you explain it? Like, sort of like you know, like a mini figure of Peppa and George with a real human being, and the the presenter really wasn't bad looking. They were just like you know doing the doing like the commenting um. After an episode, so there'd be an episode, and then the presenter, you know, would be doing, like, actions and talking to Pepper and George overall. And, you know, being in a house, a bit like if you've ever seen C CBBs, and whenever they have the presenter, and they do things, stuff like that. It wasn't bad. I can't really think of, overall, anything bad about this film. And I'm being serious. I know you're saying, oh, hey, Peppa Pig, uh, but I'm being serious, okay? I don't watch it all the time or anything like that. This was just kind of like... I used to watch Peppa Pig all the time growing up. And I just wanted to watch it in the cinema and see what it was like. There was a couple, you know, young ones there. But overall, there wasn't that many people. They didn't really say anything or give any looks. They might have said something in between themselves. But it overall wasn't that bad, you know? There was one little girl, I heard her name was Maya, just running around because, you know, the younger one's attention spam's not really that good. Here's another thing. The film was around an hour and ten minutes, but it didn't really seem that short. Would have been better if it was longer, yes, but because children have a shorter attention spam, it wasn't that long overall. I did enjoy the episodes. Um... My favourite song was the monkey one. Um, so my favourite song, which was like the monkey song, goes like this. Put your arms in the air like a monkey and drop them down like a monkey. Put your arms in the air like a monkey and drop them down like a monkey. And we were also on a bus like this. The wheels in the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels in the bus go round and round all day long. Peppa on the bus goes. Of course, there were a lot of childish moments in this film as it is a kids' movie. But there were some enjoyable moments. I think my favourite part in the film was when they had the boomerang and they threw it. And it landed in the neighbour's small garage house thing. And the neighbour was so nice, you know. It actually landed in one of his windows. And then they done it again and it landed on his window again. And then the next door neighbour who, you know, got his windows done in. Actually... Uh, through the boomerang himself, and it landed on another window. You see, there was like three w windows in a row, and then the your Australian man, your your Australian dude, um, because Peppa and George, and Mummy, Big and Daddy Pig were on holiday in Australia, basically, and there was four episodes about that. They went surfing. Um, they went on a picnic, and there was there was like the jet plane they had all the way to the picnic. It was amazing. Um, but yeah, so, the next door neighbour threw the boomerang, because they were throwing the boomerang. Um, oh yeah, they were kangaroos, I th weren't they? 
weren't, weren't they kangaroos? Um, and then there was Kylie kangaroo. Amazing, amazing. They they also went uh, to London. Um, they met the Queen, and the Queen was giving her to her on the bus. And then there was another epic part of the film whenever the bridge opened up to let the ships through. But the Queen uh, drove on on the bus. She went full speed, and she went up in the bridge, landed on the other side, came down front, zip back, flipped. It was epic. It was epic. But overall, Peppa Pig, my first cinema experience, did have a little bit of childish moments. But no matter what age you are, no matter where you're from, no matter what you do, see this film, see, see this amazing, fantastic film. You'll love it. You'll love it. I'm not sure what else to say. You know, we got enough of Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig. They weren't really, um, they weren't really there until like the, the second half of the movie. Uh, which is kind of disappointing. They were in the intro because the intro was played a couple times, which was pretty cool. They weren't there until later on, whenever they went to Australia and you know went in a holiday home with Kylie Kangaroo. It was overall a fantastic movie. And then um, Danny Dog's dad, you know, for his birthday, he got he went on the boat trip and. They were, you know, they were on the boat, and the boat was amazing. It was just overall an excellent, excellent, magnificent movie, and I'm not trying to be funny. Peppa Pig, my first cinema experience. I'll give it a 10. Peppa Pig, my first cinema experience. 10 slices of bacon out of 10. It had everything you could ever ask for in a movie. Alien Covenant, I went to see that with my dad yesterday. That was cool too, but Peppa Pig was spicier, better, amazing film, amazing movie. What should I go and see that shitty Pirates of the Caribbean film, that crappy alien film? No, 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 no. Peppa Pig, my first cinema experience, is where the banter, the real cinema banter, is at. We actually got in for four pound for, um, for a, a kid's pass. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to like, comment and subscribe. And we're going to have a special guest now. Peppa herself. She's going to say goodbye. Bye bye everyone. <laughs> da -da -da. Yeah.